the volatility of the market is about to get crazy tomorrow in today's video we got to look at the indices the spy the nasdaq the dow jones and get you all prepared as always i'm also going to be giving you all a setup that y'all should be looking at for tomorrow and following up on some of the stocks that i've mentioned in the last video Uh, y'all right off the bat we got the spy futures all right and so far as we've been moving forward in the days i have been erasing the red boxes that i've drawn right here i drew a box for y'all yesterday on the, well not yesterday on sunday looking like this um today the market exceeded expectations i was expecting the low of day to be 52.30 and it went all the way down to 5200 providing a nice shorting opportunity for the bears all right and right now we only have one left so we will see if um what my, my prediction from sunday comes to pass we will see if the market tanks and collapse all right now we're gonna do a the quick reminder for y'all Again, tomorrow, 7.30 a.m. Central Time, the CPI report would be put out, all right? And the reaction is what you want to keep in mind. That's what you want to look out for. I personally think it's going to be negative. Again, the expectation is right here at exactly 3.4. Anything higher than that will be phenomenal for the short sellers and for the bears all right now let's look at let's look at a setup let's look at a stock that i want y'all to keep in your watch list for tomorrow that is oracle all right now i want to share oracle with you guys number one because it had a huge uptrend for the past year and a half okay it's again it's on the there's a lot of room at the bottom these are the type of stocks that i look at when during these times especially when everything is kind of inflated and i believe they need to come down all right uh oracle hit resistance right here at 127 one two and then the third time was from earnings and turned out to be a bull trap right here all right there's a lot of bulls right here they don't like what they see they don't like these games right here that is that the stock is playing also we're going to zoom into the charts by going at the four hour and if you look at the four hour we can see that there is a descending triangle on the chart right here All right this is the descending triangle it formed today was the breakdown it broke down actually in the morning it broke down right here and the one thing that is, which is the reason why I, I keep this in my watch list, I want y'all to pay close attention to it, is that it broke down, yes, all right? But it actually failed to get back in here and to close above this line of resistance. So tomorrow we will see. If the reaction to that CPR report turns out to be negative, obviously that will serve as a rejection of resistance which in turn will lead to a slow fade all the way back down towards $115, okay? That's where the next level of... Oh, that's where there's two gaps to fill. Actually, it's not even like support anymore. There's, there's this giant gap right here on the left, which completely got skipped from this earnings, which left another gap to fill at the bottom. So... Here's, here's what's, what I think is going to happen. First gap to get taken care of is the one from right here. Once that gets taken care of, then we can, we can try to see if there's going to be subsequent setups to take care of the one at the bottom at 109. All right. So I do think they're going to get filled. It's only a matter of when before the stock starts to reverse there are some there are some dip buyers again 
I don't like imperfections in charts. I don't like I don't like these. But keep in mind, we close below that line, okay? And the next candle, it really all depends on the direction at which we're going. Really depends on how we open tomorrow. So keep this one in your watch list, all right? Now I did say one stock, but I got two stocks, all right? So I don't want to be overly bearish in today's video. So I'm gonna share one that is looking that is looking bullish. And if tomorrow there wasn't any CPI and it wasn't any of this madness going on with these economic reports coming out, I would think that it, it will do well. All right. And that stock or the setup on that stock is PDD. And with PDD, this one is a Chinese stock. All right. Now, I like it for one simple reason. We're going to zoom in to the five minute right here. And we're gonna look at this portion of the chart. There is an ascending triangle that was cooking all day. Right here. All right. Y'all see what I'm doing. An ascending triangle on the chart. It broke out in the afternoon. Without all the madness going on. All right. If the stock or that entire sector decides to just move on its own without following the indices at all typically this is an easy trade all the way up to 125 bucks easy trade all the way up to here right there all right but because of all of the uncertainty and all of that with the markets and so that's the only thing that causing just a little bit of like doubt but overall the structure looks really really clean Therefore, it's good enough for me to share this in today's video. Watch PDD for a move up to $125. Now, in updates on Apple. All right, in Apple, Apple looks like this. So, I drew this big structure on there and it's still trading in it. It's still trading in it. Right now, it looks like somebody may argue that it's breaking now in the after hours that's fine it can it can definitely do that again it all depends on how we open tomorrow and if it opens up higher or we open up at the same price then the odds of us going to 174 or or to this level right here 173.50 could actually be decent for for apple all right but but I've been bearish on a lot of stocks and a lot of stocks need to come down. So I hide, I'm going to take it. I'm going to take a side. I don't, I'm not going to be neutral. I'm not going to be neutral again. Y'all know how I make these videos. I like to take sides being in the middle. It's not very fun. No, pick a side. All right. So with, again, I'm keeping my stand on all of the indices. I think we fall. I definitely think we fall. All right. Now the next stock that we're going to look at. Yeah, we got time. The next stock that we got to look at, somebody asked me in the comment section to take a look at Nike. And with Nike, this was one of the stocks that I've, I shared with you guys, this stock, the day that Lulu had earnings. I believe they had earnings on the same day. And they both collapsed and Lulu actually outperformed in the short term compared to Nike. But the thing about Nike is that um, instead of going directly to 90 on that the day after earnings it went up it went down to 92 and then traded sideways for a, hu a whole lot of days before finally breaking down and going all the way down to 88 and taking care of the gap on the left which is what i told y'all to watch the stock for all right so it did its job it did its job it did its job is it going to go back up immediately? I would say be patient. I would say be very, very patient. Obviously, it is a support. I like it. Could it go a little bit lower? Yes. The next level down is here. Right here. All right. There's a possibility that it retest that level. But overall, this entire region from 80 to 95, this is where long-term investors are happy and are pretty much dollar cost averaging at a decent price in preparation of the next big move up all right there are some gaps on the left eventually they're gonna get filled eventually nike is gonna go back up here i don't know when and i don't know how slow or how fast it's gonna get up there all right 
But what I'm telling you, again, for those of y'all who like to just buy and hold high quality stocks, Nike, it has a good track record. Um, a hold, adding this one to your portfolio, um, adding this one to your portfolio wouldn't hurt. Um, it's not, again, none of this is financial advice. I'm just sharing with you my opinion, but overall it has a huge track record, a bullish track record. All right. And the possible and the odds of it going up here eventually are decent because the market doesn't stay bearish forever o over time the market tend to make positive return if you hold 10 years 15 years 20 years so that's my thoughts on nike uh, for the person who asked about it now the last stock that we're going to look at in today's video is a and f all right and congratulations to anybody who is trading or and still holding ANF. The stock is still falling. And the game plan that I have on this one is not changing at all. All right. And in the last videos, like I did share with you guys the structure, yes, on the daily and on the four hour. All right. Let me erase this thing. I shared it with I shared with you guys this thing right here. What I didn't share with y'all is the weekly. This is how the weekly is looking, guys. This this is the type of stock that we're looking at. All right, y'all see that room at the bottom? Just this. This is what I'm interested in right there. All right, so my thoughts and opinions are not changing. I would never tell anybody to chase long up there um, when the weekly chart is so weak. All right, so... That's my honest thoughts on all of these stocks, and that is the end of the video. Do not forget to annihilate the like button, as always. Again, I make these videos from Sunday to Thursday, at exactly 10 p.m. Eastern time. All right, so definitely click on that subscribe button and click on the notification bell. That way, YouTube notifies you whenever I release these videos. If you'd like to be part of a private Discord community, where you can get all of this information in real time as I see them. You can find that as the first link in the description of the video below. Don't forget to follow me on social media at Paul and Guma and the Pedanology Lab on Instagram and on X. And lastly, to get some free stocks with Webull, you can use the third link in the description of the video below. Musculation men, this is Pedanology Lab, where we trade patterns and patterns only. And I will see all of you in tomorrow night's video. Thank you.